Let's move on now. Days after a massive incursion by Ukraine's military, Russia has launched an air attack on Kiev in the wee hours of Sunday. The mayor of the Ukrainian capital has said that air defense systems engaged on the outskirts of the city in repelling the strikes. At least two explosions were heard. No casualties or injuries have been reported. There has been growing concerns among many Ukrainians in recent days that Moscow might launch air raids in response to Kiev's recent offensive inside Russian territory. Ukrainian officials have said that the capital remains under threat of Russia's ballistic missiles. As per Ukraine's Air Force Kiev, its surrounding regions and all of the eastern Ukraine are under air raid alerts. Meanwhile, Russia has imposed a security regime in three border regions and launched a counter-terror operation to counter cross-border incursions by Kiev's forces. More than 76,000 people have been evacuated from areas bordering Ukraine in Russia's Kursk region. Moscow has been forced to scramble its forces to repel the biggest attack on its territory since the start of the war in 2022. It is fighting intense battles against thousands of Ukrainian troops as deep as 20 kilometers inside Kursk. Regional Governor Alexei Smirnov has said that 13 people were injured in Kursk city, including two seriously when debris from a downed Ukrainian missile fell on a building during the night. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has acknowledged the recent offensive, saying that they are pushing the war into the aggressor's territory. Zelensky added that Ukraine is proving that it can really bring justice and guarantee pressure on the aggressor. Amid rising tensions, Belarus's foreign ministry has summoned the Ukrainian charge the affairs on Saturday and told Kiev to act against airspace violations. This comes after Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko said that a dozen Ukrainian drones had been destroyed in its airspace. According to reports, the ministry has said if Ukraine failed to prevent the situation from repeating, Belarus would call into question the appropriateness of Ukraine's diplomatic representation in Minsk. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.